what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? Ricky Smiley's daughter, Erin, was shot, caught in crossfire during a road rage incident. She was in Houston at a stoplight. The light was red, she was waiting on it to turn green. Headed to a Whataburger to get herself something to eat when gunfire erupted. She was hit, Ricky Smiley says, twice and three men in the other car who was the intended targets of the assailants were hit also. They were all taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. It's being reported that she's still in the hospital in Houston recovering from her injuries. She sustained nerve damage in one of her legs, rendering her incapable of walking for now. She is only 19 years old sitting at the light inside of her car, minding her own business, don't have nothing to do with none of that mess. And these fools open fire and pop this girl up. Okay, so I watched this video that Ricky did where he talked about it. It's very emotional. Uh, first of all, I'm going to echo his sentiments. I'm Glad that his daughter's okay. Uh, you know, he gave a heartfelt a statement. And, you know, you can only, like, put yourself in his shoes and say, man, you know, you can just only imagine what he's going through. You get that call and your daughter's been shot and you don't know how serious it is. So uh, he talks about how He's from the community, his daughter's from the community, they give back to the community, they serve the community. Uh, his daughter can't wait for Christmas to come around so she can give out gifts and all this stuff. So they, they're invested, he says, they're invested in the community. And so he went on to talk about how people get offended when you uh, address the black community when you start addressing black on black crime in the community. People get offended when you tell the truth. But, you know, he got to speak on the truth. I can respect where he's coming from. But it, and he also, he also said that people don't respect us because of the way we act. That's the part that I take exception with. And, 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 and this ain't no situation where I'm, 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 I'm going to try to rag on Rick. You know, I ain't gonna do that. But I do wanna, I do wanna clarify something. It ain't the way that black folks act that makes people not respect us. Because most black folks are good people, are decent people, okay? It's that small majority like it is in, in other uh, groups that are clowns, uncivilized, and they give everybody else a bad name. They give everybody else a bad rap. The difference is when black folks act an ass, they highlight it. The media highlights it and blows it out of proportion. Everywhere you go, murder, murder, murder. All kinds of people, all different groups, kill their own. And I mean, especially in America, record numbers. You don't hear about the people, the white guy who killed his family, uh, the, 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 the Asian guy who offed himself, and, you know, shot up his, uh, his wife's lover, you don't even hardly hear about the crimes that happen in the Hispanic community, you know, when it comes to Mexicans. You just don't hear about that. Even when it comes to Puerto Ricans, you don't hear about their crimes. It's always black. That's the stuff 
that they highlight. You got any clue why? I'll tell you. It is greed, it is control, it is white supremacy. It is, that's the sensational story. Oh, that ain't the blacks again. It's an easy story to tell. It's easy to just say black and then project it to the world. And this is why we're hated because America did a good hit job on our image. Yeah, we helped them out, but they did most of the work. You dig what I'm saying? So black folks right now, today, could stop if every single person just decided we ain't gonna kill each other no more. We're not gonna fight each other. We're not going to insult each other. We're not gonna do any of that. We're gonna do something that's unbelievable. We're gonna be a perfect group of people. We're gonna be the perfect ethnicity. They would still hate us, as long as we're in America especially, because America's media is a propaganda machine, a PR propaganda machine for the government. They work in cahoots with the police. All of them are in on the hit job on black folks. Okay, yes, we do have our deplorables who help them out. But the majority of black people is not doing the killing and acting a damn fool. It's a small group of them. In damn near every city. Just like a small group of every other ethnicity. That's assholes, that's clowns, that's deplorables, that's uncivilized. Again, the difference is they take our worst and use it as an example of who we are collectively. They take their best and use it as an example of who they are collectively. That's the difference. Now, do we need to address the issues in the black community? Absolutely. These suckers should not get a pass. They're running around terrorizing the neighborhood, making it unsafe for women and children to just exist, making it, making it very difficult for men to just exist. Their asses need to be dealt with there should be strong repercussions for those type of acts. Road rage. Man, I'm one of the best when it comes to getting down. But I had to learn over time. Calm your ass down when you're out here in these streets driving. There are all kind of nuts out here, don't know what the hell they're doing, they're behind the wheel. They have no idea of how to operate a motor vehicle. So I have to keep that in mind when I'm driving and even for myself, because sometimes I have a lapse in judgment and I'll do something where I'm not so courteous while driving and I might violate another driver's space or whatever. So I have to keep that in mind that I also make mistakes while driving. I'm also not as courteous when I'm driving. So I have to give other drivers that same amount of latitude. You dig what I'm saying? So you gotta be careful out there on the streets, man, because you don't know who's behind that wheel. You don't know the temperament of the person behind the wheel. Some people you can just shoot a bird Cuss them out and be on your way. Others will pull out a gun and shoot you in your head. Or shoot your child that's in the car. Your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your mama, your daddy, whatever. They don't care. There are a whole lot of unstable people in this world. Y'all should know that. All the videos you see on social media should tell you. You don't know who you're dealing with. The best thing to do is when you're behind that wheel is to just be courteous 
and go on about your business. Some people think when they get inside of a vehicle that they're protected. They think that, that the car is some type of armored vehicle, like it's some type of protective shield because they're in their car. Well, unless that car is bulletproof, you're putting yourself at risk. You're vulnerable. Be safe out there, fam. No more talk. What the haters talking about?